How's it going everyone? I'm Contemption and I'm back. Sorry for the delay in the videos. It's been a crazy week. Let's just say uh, everything that could have gone wrong did go wrong, but we're here now. Tomorrow is Friday. I'm stoked. Then it's the weekend. Thank goodness. We are in Lost Kingdom on my main account. That's what I'm going to go over tonight. We've got Strife of the Eight, Season of Conquest, KVK. Going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of fighting on this account. I'm going to run through just this account today. I'm going to run through my other accounts tomorrow and on the weekend just because of how much I have going on on this account. It's definitely its own video. So let's get through the intro and let's jump right into the event, to the bastions, to everything I have going on right now because it is a lot. Here we go. Okay, so finally back in Lost Kingdom on my main account. Thank goodness we skipped four times. So that really does put a big gap between KVKs, which is good. As you can see, I've got a lot of resources that I can burn through for field fighting. Obviously, a lot of resources in my in, uh, inventory as well. Get rid of those crystals here. Lots of resources to burn through if I absolutely have to. I will burn through quite a few of these. I'll definitely open up all of these. I've got these saved up for gold if I need it. I'm using six field fighting marches with all T5. It's going to be like 350,000 T5 troops per march. So there's going to be a lot in open field. I'm going to have to heal a lot, but that's why I'm France. That's why I have the civilization skin or the civilization of France and the city skin right here that also does healing speed. Fantastic civilization if you're running just infantry and archers like I do. Very good skin. We've got a lot going on now that we're in Lost Kingdom. And it's fantastic for the event because I can do high level barbarians for crystals, which I have to do anyways. It's got recharge event, which is fantastic. And I also have the recharge for starting Lost Kingdom. So I have... All of these goodies that I'm going to get as well, I will go to the end just because it's the perfect timing. So I'm going to get all of these awesome sculptures, plus a bunch of more goodies, plus the event that we have right now, the 7k buying event. So I click on the wrong button here. This is fantastic. I did buy the, the fourth column here. It does count towards recharge. You get 2200 gems from the purchase for 10 bucks. You unlock the column. It really helps you get down to level 25 as fast as possible. And for me, that's huge because I'm going to be doing this on four accounts. So a little bit crazy, but I will power through it. And especially because I'm opening the fourth column on at least two accounts, it will really help me get there faster. We've got so much going on. Soroli Assault, I hope when you logged in and you saw this, or if you're watching this video before you've logged in, Log in quickly, get these Horn of Soroli recovering as fast as possible. So you want to do a quick challenge at least three times a day. You get extra experience tomes. Not overly important for an older account like mine where I have way too many experience tomes to begin with. But just do it anyways. It's extra rewards. You get to redeem some fantastic rewards. It, oh, you get the, I think you get three Bejeweled Chests which come with these awesome rewards and then it kind of downgrades to a secondary kind of chest, but still absolutely fantastic. I will be going through this every time I get to 30. I'll be doing it and then opening those up as much as possible. What else do we got? We've got the summer chapter here, which is great. We've got, if I could click it, this, it always happens. I am hoping one day they change this. Maybe like if you have every Epic Commander expertise or you have an option you can choose legendary sculptures even if it's like five legendary sculptures at the end if you get a hundred out of a hundred or something if they could change it from epic commander sculptures that would be fantastic or at least give us the option to change it that's great early game i actually need epic commander sculptures early game i've got so many epic commanders that i need to level up skill wise it's ridiculous but for older players who have every epic commander expertise and i think almost all of them except for dio chan at level 60 like change this out please if you're watching lilith and you're probably not please change it up but it is great rewards especially for my new account this is going to help a lot i will be finishing 100 out of 100 on my new account on my other accounts i usually get to about 90 i don't do guardians on most of my accounts 
So I'll get it on my new account, but not everything else. I highly suggest any player watching this finish it. You get free rewards, do guardians. I don't need to do them on most of my accounts just because of how active I am and how old they are as well. I don't need the experience tomes. This, like I said at the beginning, the fourth column for $10 counts towards recharge. I highly suggest it, especially if you're not in Lost Kingdom and you're not wanting to burn action points on barbarians. This helps you get flower paper at a bunch of different levels, which just bumps you to the next level. Like as soon as I unlock level 18, if I'm out of these flower papers, I'll get to level 19, almost to 20, just from those 150 you get for the price of the fourth column. Absolutely buy the second and third column here, the middle for 7,000 gems. You should finish this to level 25. Even if you're not in Lost Kingdom, even if you don't get the fourth column, burn the action points and get all the way to level 25. You can't beat it. You get your 7k gems back by finishing this event and you get 15 legendary commander sculptures just for level 25. Highly suggest it, you guys. Definitely. This is one of the best. It is the best event for every kind of player. Free to play, low spending, mid spending, and whale. Everybody needs this event to finish to level 25. Absolutely. You get the flowers for map collection, city collection, defeating barbarians. That means you want these food production boosts at max all the time. And I'm going to do that right now so I don't even run out of it because it's already after reset. We'll just, it's a little bit of an overlap, but as you can tell, I'm not worried about <laughs> about not having enough 24 hour gold boosts with over a thousand of them. Not too worried about it, but keep that going. Map collection, you can do the gathering trick, you guys. Oh, you know what? I should check to make sure. Do I have enough? I don't have enough. Oh no, cancel. Whew. Oh, that would have been bad. See, at least I got my action points bad back. Phew. Okay, I didn't get enough troops, but at least we didn't hit the round, the fort, so we're good. Okay, what was I talking about? Uh, map collection. So when you're collecting resources, you don't have to cl completely clear this. If you go and you grab 250,000 of this food from this cropland, and then bring back your march, like if you go. I, Gratefully, I got a march back here. If you just lower this down to say 250 right there, send that out. By the time it comes back, you're likely going to get some of those flower papers from doing that. You do not have to finish the resource tile. I say this on every holiday video and I will continue to do so. That is the best way if you don't want to burn the action points because you're not in Lost Kingdom. Do that as often as you can. You can finish the event just by doing that. To be totally honest, if you're that active, you totally can. Crystal Quest, because I'm in Lost Kingdom for Season of Conquest, I have never had this before. It's like Lucerne Scroll. It's fantastic. I love seeing new events and new mechanics in the game, and this is great. It has daily challenges that keep you busy. It's got weekly challenges to make sure you're not slacking. It's got season challenges, things that you want to blow through as fast as possible, and I will get there, especially with these Sovereign Keys. I'm looking forward to opening those. Event's not here yet, but it will be soon. It's it's awesome. There are so many crystals in this event. It's really going to help me get to six marches before Zone 5 War without having to spend too much money. I did do what I've done in the past, and I'm sorry I couldn't live stream it. I do like to live stream you know, the first couple hours of Lost Kingdom for Season of Conquest on my main account. I did buy all the pop-up bundles. And I will go over the Kerouac ceremony as well. Hopefully, yeah, the bundles should all be here. So first come, first serve. It's when you unlock certain levels. Like once I hit level 10 on Crystal Mine and level 15 on Academy, Crystal Academy, that's when you start to get these pop-ups. And I bought all of them. It probably equaled out to about 150 bucks. I know that's not cheap. It's definitely mid-spending, closer to the high-spending kind of thing. But the good start in Lost Kingdom is really going to help me later on. It's just going to get me where I want to be before I fight. And it's going to give me better trades. And it's just going to help me reach my goals. Kerouac Ceremony. Very cool event. I really like it. It honestly, for it's really hard. It doesn't cost a lot of action points, so it's not too bad on an AP, but it gives you a lot of crystals. And this is just 
the easy difficulty. You go through easy, um, what is it? Easy, normal, medium, hard? How does it go here? Where is the Karak Ceremony? I think it's in here under War of Conquest. Like there's so many things to do right now. It's absolutely ridiculous. So many things to do and Past Glory's not even here yet. So this is the Trial of the Kakarak. Easy, normal, hard, nightmare, hell. They unlock with the monument, I guess, Lost Kingdom Chronicles. I'm used to calling it the monument. That's where they unlock. So I guess we get another one a oh, ways down here. So, you know, after our war, that's for sure. We have war, guys. I, I know I'm jumping back and forth here, but I'm, I've got so much to do on this account. It's, it's fantastic. And at the same time, it's hard to manage my other accounts. So if I'm not as active in 2396, 2563, and 2826, I apologize. But I'm trying to be as much as possible. This is where we're going to fight. We're going to fight Nakiri. As you can see, the enemy is ready. They're going to come at us very hard. I am looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Oh man, my marches are ready. We're going to have all our gear set up and ready to go. I think I have right now, actually. I got to switch that back before I forget. I've got that on Mina right now, just for barb forts. But it's going to be fantastic. And you know what? While we're here, we need to forge another Ring of Doom. We might as well do that. I'm recording. We're only 11 minutes in. Let's open up gold keys. Let's open up crystal keys. I've got a lot of them. I've been saving them for a while. I need Mulan and Mehmed. My Mehmed is close to being done. And my Mulan is about 84 sculptures from being done. So let's hope for some Mulan. Let's hope for some Mehmed. Why not? Oh, what just happened? Oh, that was rough. Oh, now I don't even want to open my crystal keys, yo. That was gross. What is this? For 178? You gotta be joking. There's not even a Mulan in there. I got five Mehmed. I got three Ishida. Oh, that has to be the worst open on 178 I've ever seen. That's gross. I have Ishida Max, by the way. So that that's just totally awful. Oh, even the stars aren't very good. Okay, well, maybe I can make it up on the crystal keys. Maybe? Like, is it even worth it? I, I don't really need the material. Maybe I just keep saving them. Now, let's just open them. I'm tired of hoarding things. Let's just open them up. Why not? Maybe we'll get lucky on this one. Not even a legendary piece. Oh, come on. How about material? Hey, there we go. All right, that wasn't bad. The material is what I need, honestly. I don't need the, the uh, blueprints. Really, anything that comes out of here. Maybe Eternal Pants and Shio's Boots so that I can refine them eventually, but really not, not a big deal here. This is nice, though. This is a lot of material. That's awesome. And what did we get, honestly? Epics. I don't need epic blueprints anymore, but you know what? I can trade most of this stuff in for, uh, what is it called? Uh, alliance credits. So that's not terrible. I do suggest collecting resources as often as possible. It will help you guys get those flowers so that you can donate towards the event. Oh, look at this. Level 32, man. The amount of legendary sculptures I'm going to be getting this week is nuts. I am so stoked. We're definitely going to be able to finish Boudica. Oops, I keep hitting that one. I'm so used to it being on the right side, but now it's not. This is, by the way, if you're a newer player, this is Crystal Research Center. This is Crystal Mine. They disappear at the end of uh, KVK, strife, or Season of Conquest KVK. This is my Crystal Tech so far. I pushed, obviously, I got up, uh, what is this? Skill for Operation. I've gotten up Treaties and Cultural Exchange. I've kind of gone for the long game, uh, knowing that, okay, Zone 5 is going to be a big fight. We don't have to win Zone 5, but... Zone 6 is going to be another fight, and then King's Landing might be another fight as well. It all depends on how it goes. So I'm going for long game. I do want to get, where is it here, Expanded Formation before we fight in Zone 5. That gives me another march, so I get six full field fighting marches, which is fantastic. I'm working on all the prerequisites. So as you can see, it's just going to take some time to get up there. Do I need that at level 10? Oh man, that's going to take some time. I'm going to need to destroy some barbarians, that is for sure. Let's grab these. And let's um, let's forge a legendary piece. 
right? Let's let's forge the Ring of Doom. Maybe I can get lucky, and maybe maybe I can get lucky. I do need to buy these as well. I do think these are a good deal. I think these are a good deal. I'm gonna stay away from these. Uh, they're not as good of a deal. Obviously, they're not 50% off or 33% off. I don't need a city skin. I've got Persian Dream. I, I'm not a Cav player, so this would be great at plus five skill damage, but I have four field fighting infantry marches. So I don't think that trade-off is worth it. Cavalry, again, not a cavalry player. Archer attack, great, but then I'm negative infantry attack by 10. I am archer and infantry player. The only one I am thinking about, because I have seven of these Season of Conquest coins, this could be nice. Archer attack plus 10. Action point recovery would be nice when I'm not, you know, when we're not fighting. This could be a good one to get. I don't think I'll be forging any of these anytime soon. As nice as they are, I would love to forge this for 15% infantry defense. You're losing out on the set bonus though, so... It's a tough call. I don't think I'm going to forge any of those anytime soon. But what I am going to do is buy a new Ring of Doom. And I'm going to buy another Horn of Fury. Because I know I'm going to craft those. 100%. I need both of those. And we're going to craft the Ring of Doom right now. Oh, nerve-wracking to be totally honest with you. And the reason I say that is the only legendary accessory or I guess legendary equipment that I've ever specialized has been the Ring of Doom. I've forged I think 24 now and I don't have any other one specialized. So if I get this specialized it's going to be infantry. It's going to be going on CPO and I'll put my normal one on to Guan. But right now if this just does it its normal thing which it probably will it likely won't specialize it's going on Guan. Guan Leo or Guan Alex is how I will be using it. Guan Leo is fantastic if you're close to the fighting. Guan Alex is good because the march speed. You're getting 30% increased march speed when you put Alex as a secondary behind Guan. That's huge. It's not as tanky or as much damage. It kind of it varies, but Leo is really good. Leo does help a lot, but oh, this is so much material. This has been a lot of saving. When I'm done this, I don't think I'll be able to craft any legendaries after this for a while. It would be nice to get the Horn of Fury before I was fighting, but there's just no way it's going to happen. Well, oh, 50 million gold too. That's That hurts. That's a lot of healing. Okay, I don't even want to look. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Specialized? No. Oh, man. That would have been so dope. But we figured that was going to happen. So this is where it's going. There you go. There's my Guan. Obviously, I'm trying to get to a point where I get Eternal Knight's Pants. I need to forge that. I need to forge the set gloves. I think that'd be fantastic on this march because I'm, then I'm going to get the extra 3% defense, which is what I was talking about with the infantry helm from the Season of Conquest one. It's 15% infantry defense. But if I get the set bonus, I get plus 3 anyways. And the gloves are fantastic. So I, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it, but... I can still refine these. I must have a decent amount. I have been saving for a while. I could still actually craft things. I didn't think that was going to be the case. I didn't think I'd have this much. That's fantastic. Eternal Knight's Pants. I can't do those, of course. But I'm only 5 away. Oh, no. 15 away. I didn't realize I had no ebony. Wow. Okay. So I'm still a ways away from that. But that's okay. Wow. This is great. I have some... Wicked marches. I think my weakest marches right now. I don't think Ramsey is going to be too bad. It'll probably be Boudica Ramsey. So this is the gear I'm running. I don't think it's too bad yet because iconic crystals aren't huge. Speaking of iconic crystals, let's put one in because I just got one from the Lost Canyon shop. Let's put it in here. Absolutely. It's a no brainer. It's an accessory I can put on every single one of my marches. Boom. Plus three troop base health points fantastic there we go man these guys are going to be nuts and the reason i need to forge all legendary gear is because of the iconic crystals eventually all of the legendary gear you have is going to have iconic crystals in it so all of your gear is going to have to be legendary this is not going to cut it in season of conquest in the near future it's just not this 
especially not going to cut it. This, not bad at all, but still, I would like to work more infantry helms and gloves and accessories. Honestly, that is definitely what I'm missing. But these are my six marches, you guys. That's why they're up at the top here. They've all got gear on them. It's going to be Naboo, YSG, CPO, Herald, Guan, Alex, or Leo, like I mentioned before. Most likely Boudica, Prime, Primary, and Ramsey, Secondary. We'll play around with that. That's going to be a new march for me. Then we got Constantine and Mulan. Again, my Mulan's not totally finished, but she's getting close. I'll show you in a second. And then Richard Ethelfled. I have fantastic luck with them, with their relics. They're so much faster. Honestly, underrated march that does so much debuffs and slowdowns. It's phenomenal. But let's go and look at Mulan quickly because I said I would. She is at 5535. Five, I need four for another skill and then 80 more. And then I've got Mehmed at 5545. Five, five. So he's getting close. 61 away and he'll be expertise, which is nice. I do use him in Sunset Canyon. And I've used him in open field behind Ramses. Honestly, very good march. AoE, skill damage increase. The relic gives you health and something else. And skill damage, I believe. I wish they showed the relic in here. That would be nice. Totally honest, it would be nice to see. I am, like I've mentioned before, working Pakal slowly through Mightiest Governor because I get set ranks there every now and again. And Boudica should be finished by the time we're fighting. We should see another wheel for Boudica, I think. Yeah, before the end of the month, we should see another wheel for Boudica. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't think so, though. And then I'll spin that as much as I can, and then I will expertise her. And I will use a lot of universals for that, but... I think I'm getting another 80, 90, 100 universals by the time the end of the month comes because we've got past glory as well and with all these events. Fantastic. I'm going to be getting a lot of sculptures, so I will 100% be able to finish Boudica, which is going to be so much fun. She's going to have the gear like Ramses. I'm not taking that off Naboo, but eventually she'll have full legendary gear. I have to start working that in the near future. There's so many other things going on. I haven't even talked about Hunt for History. I need some time to get all the free ones. I need to buy all of the hammers. I'm going to unlock probably, yeah, then another set for uh, archers. So I'm going to make sure I get enough blueprints so I can do another archer set. As soon as I'm done with the Horn of Fury, I'm going to start working on legendary gear again, both for infantry and for archers. Another full archer set would be fantastic, especially with the Iconic Crystals coming. Uh, Lord of War, not too worried about finishing it, but I probably will because the Bastion quest strategic reserve ended. I got 15th. Not bad, considering I don't... It's kind of unfortunate that I get those because somebody else might actually use them, but all my legendary gathering commanders are finished and the Mightiest Governor's coming up. But that's... That's a lot, you guys. That is a lot. That's not even going over Crusader achievements that I'm working on, like... Just doing one troop builds. So many things. That's Sovereign Keys. I should show you those before I go too. Like there's so much. Oh, look at that iconic crystal. Oh, man. I got to pump up to 60,000 individual honor points. I got to do that with barbs before we get to zone 5. That would really help. Absolutely. Especially with health, you guys. It, it lowers your severely wounded. And that's what everybody looks at for yeah, rallies, for field fighting, is severely wounded. And dead, of course. We're talking rallies. But for field fighting like I am, health is very important. And we are going to... Is there any more iconic? There is. Holy moly. Oh, yeah. Oh, as soon as I'm unlocking these while I'm killing in zone 5, I will 100% be putting them into my gear as I unlock them. That is fantastic. That's three just from in here. Is there any more spending crystals? I will spend a lot of crystals, that's for sure. Pretty typical rewards. Nope, nothing else from there, but man. Three iconic crystals just from that. That's so good. Obviously, I want to unlock all of these. It depends on how we do. I think we're going to do just fine. But we'll see how it goes. No more iconic crystals in there, and I highly doubt there would be any iconic crystals in here. Yeah, not. But that's sweet. There's three in there. Wow. Very cool. Okay, let's verify. And then I'll just show you how many Sovereign Keys I have. I will open those in a video as soon as I get them. I've been saving up. I didn't use any last KVK 
just so I could save up so I could get 200, so I get a guaranteed commander unlock on something that I wouldn't get or I haven't had the chance to get. Because I do have a lot of commanders that I haven't... Go to the very bottom. I still have eight. Eight I haven't unlocked. And it's not easy to unlock those. I'm surprised I don't have Zenobia yet, but... And, oh man, I don't think I'll ever waste anything to get him. But it's good for the pop-up bundle. Honestly, that's pretty much why I'm doing it. But let's go to Sovereign Keys. That event should come out soon. I've got 205. So I'll be able to get the guaranteed rewards of 200 uh, Sovereign Keys, which is nice. That's going to be good. I'm looking forward to that. Oh, we can use Festivox. I didn't even know I had those. There we go. We can unlock some more levels. Sweet. Festive Preparations. I got some more flowers there. I, I love these events. Uh, we're going to get some VIP. We're going to get some gems. I'm not going to get the other one. Not enough eights for that. There we go. Level 5. We've got a lot of levels to get through, but I'm totally good with burning action points on this account because we're in Lost Kingdom. There you go. Okay, 26, long, 26 minute long video. Wasn't expecting that. Going to edit a little bit, post it up, and have some more videos this weekend on my other accounts. We will go over all of them. Until next time, guys, have a good one. My apologies for the delay in this video, but there are a lot more coming and a lot of live streams, especially this weekend. I have one for Ark of Osiris, so there'll at least be one live stream this weekend. Until next time, guys, have a good one. Later.